Welcome to Managerial Accounting. This is a standalone class that requires the purchase of a separate textbook. It's important that you know what you'll need the textbook, the Wiley Plus access code, and high speed internet access. It's preferred that you use the Firefox or Google Chrome browsers. Please do not use an iPad for either Canvas or Wiley Plus. For the best access with the least amount of issues, Please make sure that the internet search engines are up to date and that the Java is also current on your PC. I want your access to all the classes and information to be as painless and worry free as possible. Now let's grab a pencil and paper as you'll need it to write down the three items so you can answer this part of the proof of life requirements along with the Canvas orientation quiz and the introduction discussion. It's important to print out the syllabus, letter to the class, and the assignment sheets. This is for you to have access to important information at all times. Please note that you are responsible for completing the proof of life information, which includes number one, the orientation quiz, number two, honesty policy, and number three, the answers to the three questions for the PowerPoint. You'll find out the three answers that you need here in this PowerPoint presentation. Access to Wiley Plus is a two-step process. First, you'll need access information found at Canvas for your specific class at the Wiley Plus site. Then you'll need the access code that you purchased with the textbook or separately. Number one, homework. Homework should be printed out before attempting. For each homework, you're allowed unlimited attempts per question. Homework is completed at Wiley Plus, and there are 13 chapters, with 11 of those being used for the final grade. 2. Quizzes. Quizzes are posted at Wiley Plus, but there you're only allowed one attempt for each chapter quiz. 3. The section test. The section test, you're only allowed one attempt. Please don't wait to the last minute to complete your assignments. The instructor does not live online and may not be able to reset your attempts before the due date and time. If that happens, then the attempt is a skip. Working ahead is highly encouraged and welcome. It'll make for a better semester for both you and the instructor. Discussions are due Fridays at Canvas. Each discussion should be answered by using the Word program to proof your submission. Then. Having it count your words so that you can place your word count, 200 is required for the original post and a word count of 100 for your response to another student's posting. There are only two chapter case studies and five discussions that count towards the final class grade. Cases and postings are an important part of the learning process. This is where you can put forth your ideas politely and discuss thoughts and ideas in a professional manner. By practicing here, you'll be preparing yourself for your future work environment. The final exam is a proctored exam at a testing center for online courses. Alternatively, you can pay for remote proctoring. Only non-memory calculators will be allowed for the exam. No smartphones, no TI-85s or the like will be allowed for the test. The final will be on all 12 chapters of the textbook, multiple choice format and without notes. The first item that you'll need to write down is this, that there is no late work. The answer to number one is no late work accepted. Please note that your watch, iPhone, Android or wall clock is not the same as Canvas or Wiley Plus time. It is very important that you make sure that you do not test the Canvas clock or the Wiley Plus clock as they will always win. This means that the answer to number two is that all work is due at 11.45 p.m. It is a problem if students cannot work ahead. For the events when work cannot be completed or submitted on time, there are skips. There are two skips allowed for homework assignments and two for quizzes. Skips allow for non-submissions not to affect your final grade. 
but it's important to remember that the final exam is comprehensive and it covers all 12 chapters. It's your responsibility to understand the work that is needed to achieve the learning outcomes and the grade you deserve for this class. This class will give you the information needed to be successful at a four-year school or if you choose to continue here at Florida Southwestern State College to earn your AS degree. You want to memorize the definitions and take the quiz in Canvas. Print out the syllabus and the assignment sheet handouts to have for an on-hands reference. Make sure to log on to the Wiley Plus site. Become familiar with the multiple options for learning concepts per chapter. Find the practice for each chapter, as they are similar to the end of chapter questions and the same as learning outcomes. Note that for each chapter, there are chapter-related videos to introduce the chapter information and how to use it in the workplace. All work can be completed ahead of time, except for the final proctored examination. That's a lot of things to learn and to do in this class. The semester will fly by. We almost forgot to tell you the last thing you need to write down. Number three, do your own work. It doesn't matter what grade you get in this class, but make sure it's your grade. The problem is, is that if you're caught using someone else's work to pass off as your own, it will affect two students or maybe even more. And the outcome can be sad because everyone involved will fail the class. That number three, do your own work, can't be stressed enough. The instructor does reserve the right to review and audit all work at any time throughout the semester, including previously graded work. Thank you for signing up for this accounting class. We hope that you learn a lot of new accounting ideas and a lot of new concepts this semester.